Hi everybody, welcome to the trending streams here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe, click, and hit that bell to get the latest video notifications. In other words, whenever you hit that bell and you subscribe, you should be notified. And if you're not getting the notifications, refresh this channel multiple times a week. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that has been subscribing. I'm almost at 800. We're almost reaching 8,000. Thank you, everyone, all the new subscribers that have done so. Of course, everybody knows the truth never sleeps. And I made an outcry to do that. And you guys are pulling through. Once again, thank you so, so much. Well, here we go, guys. Bill Cosby. I was shocked to find out the news. Uh, again, this is a guy that, uh, you know, uh, that I've covered before on the original Truth Never Sleeps. Uh, you know, again, going to jail and all that. Of course, he was famous for his TV show, The Bill Cosby Show. I remember watching it as a, as a kid. I really liked the show. And before The Cosby Show, he did, hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. He would be in the intros. He was the voice of many of the characters. And, of course, he was a comedy guy and then did The Cosby Show and all of these things. Uh, and then, you know, back in 2018, he was convicted of rape and all the memes came out. I did videos on it. You know, people were trying to make fun of it. If you're seeing it, it's too late. Uh, my two favorite things, jello pudding and rape. All of these things, he would uh, put the, uh, you know, the drugs in there or whatever. He would put Mickey's and we'll get into that. Here you can see him doing the say, you know, El Diablo hand sign. So let's see what happened today. All of a sudden, the dude just gets out, and I'll tell you why he got out. But let me read you the story here. Bill Cosby, 83, thanks PA Supreme Court for upholding the rule of law after they threw out the sexual assault conviction to free him on a technicality and say there are many liars out there, aim furies of prosecutor, you know, prosecute, um, misconduct and all of these things. So anyway, 83, uh, you know, he thanks them for the technicalities. He got out basically in a technicality. Cosby was released on, uh, SCI Phoenix in Pennsylvania on Wednesday, two years into the 10 year sentence. He was convicted in 2018 of sexual assault and drugging Andrea Constant at his Pennsylvania estate. Dozens of other women accused him of sexual assault, but none have had their claims prosecuted because they fell outside the statutes of limitation. So many of these women were scared of him. He had power. They didn't do it. Anyway, Cosby appealed all the convictions and the two accounts he said in 2005 at uh, Montgomery County DA, Bruce Caster made a deal with him not to prosecute. The deal wasn't written down anywhere. It came to Castro announcing that he wasn't going to bring charges for Constant reports her claim. Cosby also said it wasn't fair that the jury heard five other women at, at his trial who said he assaulted them. So that's where he got, got off. Uh, you know, they put in all these women and they said, wait a minute. You know, the Supreme Court goes, wait a minute. That wasn't right. You know, we don't know that for 100%. This is this case. But I know what the prosecution was trying to do, saying there's a, a motive here. There's a habit. This is what this guy is all about. But anyway, that's how he basically got off. It went to the PA Supreme Court. And they basically uh, said, wait a minute. You know, they should they should have did this many or whatever. Those women who had claimed had attacked them were in the 1980s after he gave them drugs. Allegedly, the PA Supreme Court didn't rule on whether or not their testimonies were fair, only focused on Castro. So, but they were focusing on that. And then this guy said that whatever, that he wasn't going to prosecute, but then he did. They ruled that by making his promise, Castro led Cosby to deliberately believe he wouldn't be charged. As a result, Cosby made remarks in a 2005 deposition that he was self incriminating and he was after charge. Then later he was charged. So there you go. He got out. People are happy. Many of the victims are distraught. They're shocked. Guys, this is how the game is played. Okay, this is it. Now this guy is as guilty as sin. No doubt in my mind. He Again, 
Am I believing all of these women that they put in, in, you know, whatever? I'm not believing all of them. Did I believe that he did do wrong to some of them? One billion percent. Now there was, and, and I did this on The Truth Never Sleeps. As everybody knows, The Truth Never Sleeps is gone now. They took it down. But I covered the story where Bill Cosby was associated with uh, Hugh Hefner, okay, that's, uh, you know, Playboy Mansion and all of these things. And this woman herself, right, former Playboy Bunny, Bunny uh, basically says, uh, PJ says that she used to work for, you know, for uh, the Playboy Bunny. They had a, a rent, not the ranch, they had a restaurant or something, and she was like a manager or whatever, and, uh, you know, she, you know, you know, Bill invited himself over, or she did, or something. They were going to go out, and supposedly he put something in her drink and raped her. And I guess she had the pictures to prove it and all these things. But again, that was in the late 70s, 80s. So I believe, again, he did. It is what it is, right? It's sad. Uh, it's disgusting. Another connection that I talked about, and of course, the media and people and these judges aren't going to you know, look at this. And I'll tell you why here in a second. But there was another Playboy Playmate that was associated with Hugh Hefner. And again, the it's all mind control. It's all pimping out these women. You know, a lot of these girls are not from L.A. They go to L.A. back in the day. They would go to the, the Playboy Mansion. You can be famous. They would say the lines. We'll get you in movies. And they, they give, them, give them the drugs, whatever. And then they end up having sex with many of these women. And then also, Hugh Hefner will pimp these women out. Well, Bill Gates, or Bill Gates, Bill Cosby. Bill Gates is, is, is part of that too, but with uh, another pedo, um, you know, Jeffrey Epstein. But anyway, let me read you the story one more time. Passed around by Bill Cosby, Hugh Hefner, and do dozens of other Hollywood honchos. Now, folks, again... This is the, as they call it, the casting couch. And this is what happens. This is the Playboy Playmate of the month who felt so used and so abused by the most powerful leading men. She took a gun and she took herself out, blew out her head. This is her right here, Paige Young. And too bad she never got old. She died young. In November 1968, the Playmate of the month in the magazine centerfold, Bill Cosby was obsessed with Young and had caught his eyes during his many visits to the Glitzy Playboy uh, Club. She was only 30 when she took a 38 caliber and well, she took her, you know, she took her life. How sad. In the scenes reminiscent to the 1970s B movie, Young's friends and former model Melina Myers found Paige's lifeless body, blood soaked an American flag on a doubled. A double bed. The cops uh, had Paige's note and read uh, some of it. Myers recalled the whole thing was about her anger towards the men who she believed chewed her up and spat her out. This man has blood on his hands. All these elite do. And this is a reality. I keep on telling you. The casting couch. The uh, what, what they call the, um, the eyes wide shut parties. They mind control these young women and all these starlets and all these things pimp them out. This is, uh, again, uh, Green Brands comic legend, a sexual predator. I guess this was the friend or a retired California. Uh, uh, stripped her naked and groped her and kissed her and as she screamed for help. So, again, many of these women speaking out. These men are devils, demons. It is what it is. And it's it's appalling. That they will let this guy out. And of course, he says this, again, which is an embarrassment. Of course, using the race card. Sickening. Very sickening. Ah, he, you know, oh, let me just read you this. B uh, Bill Cosby says, I quote, I have never changed my stance nor my story. Of course not. I've always maintained my innocence. Everybody in jail is innocent, by the way. If you go to anybody, most people in jail... You know, even if they're as guilty, caught red-handed, oh, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, right? That's the whole story, right? 
And he says, thank you to all my fans, supporters, and friends who stood by me in this ordeal. Special thanks to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court for upholding uh, the rule of law. I have never changed my stance and all this stuff. Uh, again, he's doing the black power. He was thanking the African Americans or all this stuff I heard as well, which is, is revolting. Revolting, right? But he was he was targeting young white women, right? Again, guys, I don't mean to be racial. I'm just stating facts. These are facts that this man pinpointed, uh, again, Caucasian women, okay? He, he, he mixed the bag, but a lot of it, again, were Caucasian women as well. It's sickening that, again, he has to use the race card and all of these things, doing the black power fist, which is a, a Illuminati symbol, right? Women are upset, preserved to all, uh, say, uh, you know, survivors, central here, I don't even know what this symbolizes, 256. Uh, again, there he is taking the photos and all of this. Now, one of the reasons I said that he did go to jail for, someone also did the math. They said that he did 33 months in jail, which is an Illuminati number. I can't verify that right now. But, what? and here's the women again. Uh, again, uh, many of them were Caucasian, most of them, but whatever. Anyway. So it's all BS, you know. Let me see if I can go on his website too. I will I will do that here. But one of the reasons why I said that he went to jail was, for a little bit anyway, that Cosby was trying to buy NBC Network for sale. He was thinking he was too big for his britches. And of course, NBC said it wasn't for sale and all these things. And uh, the Illuminati didn't like that, whatever. Well, folks, again, the reason why this guy got away, number one, how did he get away with it? Well, he's worth over $400 million or more, okay? That's what he's worth. So in other words, when you're rich, and I'll say this anytime, any day of the week, the court system is rigged. We know that. Again, the Freemasons, the occultists, control the courts. That's why, you know, basketball court, that's a sport. Uh, it's a court. It's a game. Uh, you know, tennis court, so forth and so on. So is the court. I'm sure you heard, if you got money, if you got good lawyers, you can get away with murder. You can get away with crime, right? He has the best lawyers. If you got the best of the best lawyers and you do this and that, most of the time you're going to get away. But the reason why truly, and I think he was on timeout, they did punish him. But the reason why truly he got out was because he's a free Mason, folks. That is the thing. Again, you're not going to get out. He's a famous Freemason, right? You're not going to get out of jail. You're not going to do this or that. You're not going to get the $400 million, $100 million club uh, in this Luciferian system unless you sold your soul. So he, Bill Cosby, is a Freemason. This is coming from the Freemasons. What do all these great men have in common? You got Nat King Cole, Scotty Pippen, uh, Buzz Aldrin, Chris Tucker, Telly, all these people. Well, they are famous uh, of the Otis fraternity. They are the world's part of the Otis fraternity, uh, Lodge Number 7, right? All these things in Los Angeles meet on the third Sunday. These are the famous Freemasons. And that is why the dude got off on June 3rd or whatever. You know, all the symbols, all the things. Again, this guy was guilty. He even kind of admitted it. And uh, he got away with it, guys. There you go. Because he's a Freemason, part of the system. He's got the money. Got the big, big uh, money, big lawyers. And, of course, he sold his soul. He made a movie. As he played even the devil himself and Max Devlin. You sell your soul. You, you do whatever the rituals take. And this guy was one of the puppet pawns of Satan. Again, and there you have it. So there it is. Very tragic. I, I know there were news stories uh, earlier today. How many of these women, man, uh, are, are just blown away. They're, they're hurt. They can't believe it. And it's sickening. It, it just, it is sickening what it is right hold on here i'm gonna go here bill cosby uh bill cosby uh twitter or whatever so there you have it guys he got out today they literally let him out the same day the supreme court and all these things and uh again guys he got out because again he's a part of them and that's it 
That's it. So there you go. The system is corrupt. This is just more proof. Again, when you sell your soul, they'll punish you. He didn't say too much. He never exposed them. He kept his mouth shut. And he got the big money. I'm sure the elite are going to get a cut of this $400 million money, right? Because, you know, it's a payout as well. The devil is in the details. This guy's a devil, a demon, has literally, literally blood on his hands, right? Blood on his hands. What he has done to multiple women and this poor playmate here that was testified by her best friends that this guy was stalking her and all these things. It is what it is. And so does Hugh after He's dead now, thank God. And there you go. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I know you guys wanted my take on it. I was shocked to see it. But am I truly surprised when you do your research and how this man is so deep and connected? No. It, it, when, you, when you have studied this stuff for that long, this is how the game is played. These people sell their soul. It ain't worth it. Some people go, oh, wow, maybe I'll be a Freemason. I'll get the free get out of jail card. No. You'll lose your eternal soul, and this is what this man is. He may get away with it now, but he will not get away with it in the eyes of God, right? Thank you again. May God bless you all. Take care. Again, share these videos out there, and uh, may God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.